Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Srinivas. Today we are going to discuss a concept called ratio and proportion. Now, as far as written test is concerned, this topic is very important because definitely you will find at least two problems asked from this concept. Now, first of all, let us try to know what is ratio. Now, what do you mean by ratio? The definition of ratio, it is a comparison between two or more similar quantities. Now, let us take a small example. Now, if I say in a class, the number of boys and girls are in the ratio of 3 is to 2. It is an example. In a class, number of boys and girls are in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Now, what do you mean by this? Simple meaning of this is, if the number of boys in the class are 3, then the number of girls in the class should be 2. Now, are they the actual values of boys and girls? That is, are they the actual number of boys and girls? Now, they may be or they may not. Now, if you want to know what is the actual number of boys and girls in the class, definitely there should be some other information given to us. Now, what is the other information we require? So, that we can tell what are the actual values of boys and girls, that is the number of boys and number of girls. Now, suppose I say the total strength of the class is 40, that is in a class of 40 students boys and girls are in the ratio of 3 to 2. That means, I assume like this, if boys are 3 parts, girls will be 2 parts. Now, this is total. Total is, it is summation of boys and girls, 3 parts plus 2 parts. That is, totally 5 parts should be equal to 40. So, 1 part will be equal to 8. Then, the number of boys the number of boys in the class is 3 parts. If one part is 8, 3 parts should be equal to 24. And the number of girls is 2 parts. One part is 8, 2 parts should be 16. So, if the total number of students in the class are 40 and the boys and girls, the number of boys and girls are in the ratio of 3 to 2 then boys are 24 and girls are 16. Now, we can be given some other information also that is the difference in the number of boys and girls in the class. Now, I say like this in a class the number of boys and girls are in the ratio of 3 to 2. If the number of boys are 10 more than the number of girls the number of boys are 10 more than the number of girls. That is, the difference in number of boys and girls is 10. Then, I can ask you how many boys are there in the class and how many girls are there in the class or we can be asked what is the total strength of the class. Now, the difference. Now, boys are 3 parts, girls are 2 parts. That means, the difference in boys and girls is 1 part. That 1 part is equal to 10 then the number of boys in the class will be 3 parts which is 30 and the number of girls in the class is 2 parts which is 20. Or if I want to find directly what is the total strength of the class, directly I find 5 parts. So, 1 part 10, 5 parts 50. So, this is how we can find the actual values of the terms in the ratios. Now, let us start with a small example. Now, let us look into a simple example. If A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4 and B is to C is equal to 5 is to 6, then find A is to B is to C. The question is, here we are comparing A and B, saying that if A is 3, B is 4. Here, we are comparing B and C, saying that if B is 5, C is 6 and here we are asked to compare all the 3, A, B and C. Now, how to solve this? 
a is to b is 3 is to 4, b is to c is 5 is to 6 and we are asked to find what is a is to b is to c. It is a very small example. Now, what is a term which is common in both the ratios? Now, the term which is common in both the ratios is b, but here the value of b is 4, here the value of b is 5. Now, if I want to compare a, b and c, I have to make b equal in both the ratios. Now, how to make b equal in both the ratios? Either I need to multiply or divide with a non-zero integer, then only the value of ratio does not change. Now, what we do is multiply the first ratio with 5 and the second ratio with 4. Now, if I multiply the first ratio with 5, I get a is to b is 15 is to 20. And if I multiply the second ratio with 4, we get b is to c is 20 is to 24. Now, I can compare all the 3 a, b and c saying that if b is 20, then a is 15 and c is 24. So, a is to b is to c is 15 is to 20 is to 24. Now, instead of we doing all this, how can we tell the answer in a simple way directly? Now, let us look into it. Now, let us look into the alternate method of solving this particular problem. If a is to b is 3 is to 4 and b is to c is 5 is to 6, then what is a is to b is to c? Now, the shortcut what we apply right now can be applied only when the diagonal element is same here in both the ratios. Now, here the diagonal element is b. So, diagonally b and b are equal. So, this shortcut can be applied now. Now, what is that shortcut? Let us look into it. Now, that shortcut this is n. If I say this is a mirror, how does this n appear in the mirror in the reverse way? So, this is reverse n. So, multiply the numbers in this reverse n method like this. That is 3 into 5, 15, 5 into 4, 20, 4 into 6, 24. Now, this is how you can tell the answer directly. Now, let us look into the second example. The ages of A, B and C are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 6 respectively. If the sum of ages of A, B and C is 70 years, then by how many years is C older than B? So, we are given the sum of the ages of A, B and C and we are asked to find what is the difference in the age of B and C. Now, let us try to solve. Now, the ages of A, B and C are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 6. Now, we already know if you want to tell the actual values of A, B and C, either we must know the difference or we must know the sum. Already we are given the sum of the A's of A, B and C that is A plus B plus C is given as 70 years. Now, A is 5 parts, B is 3 parts, C is 6 parts. So, totally A, B and C together a plus b plus c together will be 14 parts. So, 14 parts will be equal to 70. One part is equal to 5 years. Now, to answer the questions asked to us, we need not find the actual values of b and c. Directly, we can tell the answer like this. We know that b is 3 parts and c is 6 parts. So, definitely we know that c is older than b. C is older than B by how many parts? You can see B is 3 parts, C is 6 parts. So, the difference is 3 parts. So, C minus B should be equal to 3 parts. If 1 part is 5 years, 3 parts should be 15 years. So, this is how we can solve the problem in a simple way.
without actually finding out the ages of A, B and C. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Narayshati.